months of walking. All week long, 9 and 10 News took you behind the lens, but do you know who yells lights, camera, action? You're looking at them right now. Next, you'll meet the people who put the show on the air, and it's not just smoke and mirrors. There's an orchestra right now. You can't hear it because it's the men and women who work behind the scenes here pushing the buttons, making sure that you can see and hear our newscast. Carol Simone joins us now live from the control room with more. Carol? Well, Jeb, this is Mission Control. These people and others scattered throughout the building are responsible for picking the right camera, rolling the right tape, working to make sure what you see at home is perfect from behind the lens. You just never know what's going to happen. You know, it's live television. It's like jumping out of an airplane wondering if your chute's going to open. You've met one of 9 and 10's reporter photographer teams. Now meet one of the director producer teams. My producer, Kurt Sutterfield. I love to hate him. Then to Kurt, I need a full page graphic number for DO1. It's kind of like, you know, I guess maybe the relationship you would have with a sibling. I like working with one producer. I mean, I know when Jennifer's producing the 6 o'clock, I know what I can expect from her, and I know what she likes to do. 25 minutes to air, and I'm halfway through my scripts. He started preparing for the show more than an hour ago. The producer, when they put their rundown together, they call the shots. When it comes to one second after five, the director calls the shots. The rundown is the footprint for the show. Right now, I'm looking at the five o'clock rundown. Mm -hmm. I'm putting in which camera or video source to take, um, what audio needs to be there, what what next element is coming up. And then from the rundown, I, I mark the scripts. It seems to work out best when Kurt, the producer, doesn't call me at 4.30 and, and says, oh, I gotta do this. But last minute changes are common. We, we plan as much as we can, but so much of it is flying by the seat of your pants. I think a lot of it just comes with experience and knowing that changes in a newscast is a daily occurrence. Charver City, give me a rewind balance. A lot of people wouldn't do it, wouldn't ever care to do it, but sometimes you get addicted to the adrenaline. Mike check, Trish. Good evening, I'm for Shoshay. It's showtime. 9 and 10 News at 5 starts now. A truck plows into a woman as she walked her kids to school. Three, two, to one. Genetics up. This is like cold open three quarters. Three, two, one. Sound up three quarter. Uh, treatment, you know, now once again a recovery unit. Seconds into the show, the crew comes up against a problem. They make some quick changes. The producer tells the anchors. It's just duo dedics audio, no disc. Guys, don't worry about it. We have to run uh, the old way right here, okay? Something's wrong. And they recover. It's no biggie. We covered it. One's hot. In the middle of the show, my hands are just like this, just because it's it's so stressful. My QTC. No. Managers sit in the news director's office watching. That was like a really bad community theater. Uh, a for effort, C for execution. But the show goes on. What a complete waste of time. Christ. Clips every mic there is. Yeah, what's frustrating though is we're rolling out, we're doing uh, fine, we're going along, we're three, four minutes into the cast, and then boom, somebody makes a mistake technically in the back, and it kind of unravels. But, you know, I mean, it's the pursuit of perfection. That's what we're about. Well, it's live TV. You don't get a second shot. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Be sure to. I'd love to fix what ails us, but I can't figure it out. It's been a frustrating week. Now tomorrow for our final look at Behind the Lens, we'll take you inside the Doppler 9 and 10 Weather Center. Jen Trish? Uh-huh. Very hectic back there. Sure is. It's, it's a lot safer out here. Yes. Too there much are people, going on there's people back there. Somewhere. They're back there? <laughs> oh, yeah,